They are all frauds. It is all projection and it is all about controlling you. Let's start with the Me Too and LGBTQIA communities movements. These people will march and march until their vagina hats and assless chaps fall off. But the minute there is a conflict between Israel and Palestine, they will time and time again side with the people who are harming gays and women. And they're not ashamed of this. And you know why? Because it's all a scam. This is not some grassroots movement like they'd have you believe. No, this is a business. It's trendy. It's, it's fun. They are frauds. Next, let's talk about the current day civil rights movement in America. This is simply a business that profits off of the lie that Americans of color are still being held down because of the color of their skin. They actually profit off of oppression. The very thing they claim to hate, they need. Next, we have the climate alarmists. Yes, it's a business. It's a green industry indeed. And the funny thing is, some of the loudest climate criers are some of the worst climate killers by their own rule. They are frauds. And all of these businesses posing as grassroots heartfelt movements are proud to call themselves Democrats. And last night, we saw the Biden administration's true colors, specifically red. Last night, this man on a stage that looks like it could speak German, demonized, and I fear eventually will have criminalized anyone who doesn't agree with him. <laughs> remember, remember that one time that, that all the Democrats were afraid that Trump was going to do crazy stuff with the nuclear codes and, and then Biden threatened gun owning Americans by saying that he had nukes? That was awesome. All that bad-mouthing Trump that they did, what they were doing was they were projecting their lust for tyranny onto Trump to get him out of the way. And it worked. But you see, you have to listen to a Democrat a little bit differently. Because when a Democrat makes an accusation, he's actually telling a story about himself. 